Well, I mean, when you think about this, the hub, the hub is the community center of campus. It's the heart and soul of the university. It's the place to be at on campus. What the building itself offers is a, a place to come and sort of just be, to, to sit, to study, to have meetings, attend events, to get food and um, access various services uh, that isn't specifically tied to any particular field of study or academic program or whatever. You know, a lot of people don't realize how big the hub is and how much stuff there is, but for the people that do, it's really important. They have something to eat, we can go bowling, we can play pool, and if you come early enough, you can even get your bike fixed. It's got a lot of different resources to use, so it's a lot of things you would need at a lot of different times are all in this one place. There's large events too in the ballrooms that happen where they have dances or they may have breakfast and a lot of times the community members are invited and I really love that. I think it just really embodies the liveliness and the energy of a college campus. It's the place where activities and creativity and innovation and the dynamic aspects of the, the life on campus start. We're the one building on campus that really is here to serve needs of all faculty, all staff, all students, all alumni, all prospective students. There's always something going on. I mean, I've been here for 20 years and still every day feels different. It's more than just a building, it's more than just a shell, it's more than just bricks and walls. It's a place that is designed to deliver really impactful student experiences. So it just kind of provided this constant force and constant presence in my life that even when my classes were changing, my teachers were changing, I was moving all over the like U district, it was just something that I always knew was gonna be there. In some ways that's more home to me than if I went back to Denver where I grew up. I've been here 33 years and I'm still not bored because I come to work and I wanna, and I'm, I come to work with anticipation what is going to happen next. What's the next thing that's going to happen? I think the ideal is that this serves as the, the home base um, and the life and soul of our community. That's the reason why we're really looking to do this rebuild and remodel um, of the hub because we want it to serve a function that's greater than what the original building was able to accommodate. The building was built in parts. First, 1949, the second major part, 52, and the third, last edition in 75. And they never had enough money to tie all the pieces together. So we have a lot of issues with our plumbing, our HVAC, and our mechanical. I think the building is a bit of a maze, and unless you've lived in it for 30 years, you may not ever find your way around. There's a lot of breaks. There's been a lot of um, cracks little rundown and it needs it needs some TLC we're just we've just outgrown what the current facility can offer to the students and the population that we serve it was a building that was put together piecemeal over time which is totally understandable because that's how these things go um, as the student body grew so did the hub um, and it accommodated the needs of each generation but we never took the time to try to put that all together into one comprehensive whole it is not able to deliver the programs and services um, that students deserve in the way that they deserve. We wanted to look at, are we serving the students currently? Are we serving them well? But also, is this the student union we want for the next 50 or 60 years? And that's really what this remodel does, is it takes three to four different buildings that are all um, built on top of one another, and it integrates them together into one structure, um, builds it out, um, so that it's more uh, environmentally sustainable, so that it's more technologically um, capable, um, and so that it has the f flexibility to accommodate all the different um, events um, and needs of the various organizations that use it. And that's what's great about students. They're the ones who took the leadership and said, you know what, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep um, moving this along through the, through the process, advocating for this, and look where we are now. We're very fortunate that the students decided to fund the remodel because it's long overdue. 
there are so many cool things in this new hub. <laughs> I think that the student union is going to be an amazing facility. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be something that the students have not seen unless they visited a campus with a new union. I'm really looking forward to the more open um, layout, being able to see and hear and be more connected throughout the building. Light. The, the one thing I really like about the new design is the way that they've incorporated light coming through the building. Um, I like that they're still keeping the facade of the building, you know, to kind of keep that historical perspective, but then also kind of modernizing it. I really like all the skylights that it looks like. There's gonna be a ton of glass windows, and I love looking outdoors. The meeting room space, the, the, the student group space, will be benefited tremendously. I'm looking forward to all the light and openness. Um, I'm looking forward to being housed in a building that's environmentally sustainable and reflects my values and principles. The daylighting of the building, the atria, the creating of new ways to get around the building. It'll be refreshing for the people who um, use the hub all the time and also for people who just come in. It's just like, oh, I didn't know we had this like extra little Easter egg on our campus. I want it to be loud. I want it to be boisterous. I want it to be active. I just think it's going to be a phenomenal building. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait. It's hard to envision, but to see the real thing when it's finished uh, is going to be amazing. I'm, I'm really excited to see what this place can become and what it can do for future generations of students here.